Hey everybody, it's Mr. Wagstaff. Uh, no shirt and tie today as I'm at the beautiful campus of Wake Forest here. I'm at the AP Summer Institute for AP Psychology. And I wanted to walk you through today how to create some EBQs, uh, evidence-based questions. Uh, that is the new format used for AP Psychology here as the CED is being redesigned here in 2024. So I wanna walk you through how you can use ChatGPT, how you can find research, how you can use ChatGPT, and how you can use all that. Oh, my, my table about fell down. Uh, I am large. Uh, how you can use those tools to create high quality EBQs that you can use uh, with your students. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into that. All right, so first thing that you're going to want to do is you're gonna get research. Uh, if you've seen my AQ videos, my article analysis questions, which is the other writing style here of um, the other writing style of the AP exam, then we're going to kind of pick up from there. But I don't want to jump too far ahead in case this is the first video that you've watched. Uh, so if you want to look for research, because you're going to have to have three research uh, articles. All right. That are going to have to be summarized for the students to read. And then they're going to have to make an, an argument about something involving that so what you have to find first is research here's the easiest way i have found to find research uh, uh, that we talked about here at the apsi is go to consensus ai on google is a ai search engine for research uh, you're going to want all your research to be on the same topic so for this uh, let's talk about learning styles so i will ask it uh make not make Find me some research that explores learning styles in school. Uh, and you're going to get a, a quite a list of them here. If my outdoor internet will kick on, you can do it. There we are. So uh, that little clip there was, it took about 20 seconds for this to, to load. So that's why uh, there is the splice. Um, so you can see here are basically the uh, you know, very short, like smaller than an abstract of each one of these researches. But if you click on it, it will take you to the abstract here. Uh, you can go to the full text. All right. And when you get to the, the full text here, there is typically, you can see here on the right side, the little thing pops out says PDF. You would click on that and you would save this as a PDF because you need to have your three research articles saved as a PDF here in order to have them summarized. All right. So uh, I found Consensus AI is glorious for this. So we're going to jump ahead and assume you have found three articles on the same topic that, that you're looking for and you have them saved on your computer as a PDF. Uh, another thing that I have saved is this is the format here, introduction, participants, methods, results, that the AP Psychology College Board is going to put all those research, uh, all that research article, they're going to summarize it and put it into this format. So uh, if you watch my AAQ video, which is the article analysis question uh, video on how to do this, then this is uh, very quickly a review, but I'm actually gonna go back to ChatGPT and I started a fresh page on ChatGPT when I did this. So here's how I did the article analysis question. The formatting is going to be the exact same for each of these researches for the evidence-based question, the EBQ that we're working on here. So uh, the first thing I did is I clicked uh, this little tab here uh, and I uploaded, this is, I know it's not titled correctly, that is the first research on learning styles. And then I put in the, well, as you just saw that Word document, the AAQ source template, I have both of those saved. I put both of those in and said, take the first document, format it to fit the AAQ source template. Do not make this a PDF that I have to download because it'll do that. Uh, Make sure each section is in paragraph form and give me your results below. Pure luck, I got exactly what I wanted on the first try. You need to be very clear here with ChatGPT. Even though I have the premium version, you have access to all this as well. Premium version is $20 a month, but uh, you know, the free version works, but you can probably only do this once or twice a day with the uploads. Even though it got, gave it to me perfectly this time on the very first try, if it's not perfect, you want to refresh it uh, and make sure you get this right because this is in your memory quote unquote in, in chat GPT. So once the first one's done right, the rest are super easy. 
So even though I was using this for an AAQ example, I would like to have three of these for um, the EBQ, the evidence-based question, where the kids are going to read three different articles. And in this case, it would be on learning styles. Obviously, the AAQ and the EBQ are not going to be the same topic, but uh, we're going to have three EBQ articles dealing with learning styles. Uh, so once you have one here that you can use one of your three if you're making an, e, uh, an EBQ out of the learning styles, here's all you have to do is, since I have the other ones, go to upload from computer. Da, da, da. This is another one right here uh, that I, ha I downloaded from uh, Consensus AI. And I'm literally just going to say, do the same thing for this. And... In theory, it should be exactly the same. Yeah, because it already knows from the previous response of how I want it set up that it's going to do the exact same formatting here. So now I have my second, um, I have my second research here. It cites it at the bottom, uh, and then I need a third one. So I'm going to go upload from computer. I'm going to find my third. Uh, research that I found and I'm going to say do it again so I also want to point out here as it's thinking and doing this that chat GPT is just a tool it is not giving you any new information it is not creating anything from scratch it is clearly just taking the words that are in that research and they're trying to make me happy by making the words I want by simplifying it you need to go through and read your research and you need to read what ChatGP is summarizing it as because even though it's 98% of the time it's going to be great, 2% of the time it's going to be wildly off. Do not give your students anything that is that is incorrect. That is the, the big danger with ChatGPT, um, in, in my opinion. I don't think it's any reason to hide from it or, or, or anything like that, uh, but you still have to know your content. So this is not a skip of not knowing your content. All right. Now with that little disclaimer, so I have now have three of these uh, summarized researches. Here's what's really important. So there's going to be an evidence-based question that the students have to defend uh, that they are given, and then they have to follow the very specific format of College Board. What is important here, all right, is they have to use at least two of these sources. However, I would like for the prompt to use all three sources. So my prompt here uh, is going to be, uh, now make five uh, possible uh, arguments that students have to, uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. Five possible prompts uh, for students based on these three, and I know I'm misspelling everything here, fat fingers, little keyboard, uh, and chat GPT smart enough to read my mind, I guess. So make five possible prompts for students based off these three uh, summarized researches. Um, uh, the students will need to use all three researches to make an argument uh, in some way. It will say that. Uh, students need to read all three articles to best make their argument. Students will only use one but give me five possible prompts for students to argue. Because the chances of them giving me a good one to start with is slim. I've misspelled all types of stuff because I'm typing fast. I'm, I'm on camera. I know all that. Uh, I don't even think I have to correct any of this. We'll see what happens. Um, so I should get five here. Only one of these will be what I provide to the students. Um, regarding evidence, conduct an argument for or against incorporation of learning uh, style assessments and classroom instruction. Use specific findings in the three studies to support your argument. Uh, and that one, the first one is good. Um, impact the validity of learning styles and educational practices. 
so the first two look good. Um, the students only have to use two, and they can use two of these researches in order to make their argument as per College Board rules, but I wanted uh, to have the option here uh, with these. So what I would do in class is I would take all of this, I would put it into a format that, that I want, uh, and then they are given a, a prompt at the top, and then they have to go through and uh, with, you know, A, B1, B2, C1, C2, uh, and go through and answer that, making their argument with information from the sources the way College Board wants it to do. But by doing this, you can mass produce these and use them all the time. So the hardest part of getting the content for the students uh, with ChatGPT uh, is doing a lot of the heavy lifting. All right, uh, I hope that helps. Um, thanks for watching.